Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane is who I be. Let's get down to some uh, real meat here. As you all may know, uh, the Boy Scouts have officially allowed homosexuals, uh, openly gay as they call them, uh, it's really openly homosexual, but openly homosexuals uh, to join the Boy Scouts. Uh, this prompted uh, sponsors, certain sponsors, uh, Christians, uh, 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 Catholic, the Catholic uh, Church, uh, and parents even to, to take their children out uh, and separate themselves from the Boy Scouts. Uh, so, uh, some have formed their own uh, uh, form, like, like similar to the Boy Scouts, but this is really standing on what the Boy Scouts stood for prior to it, which was not allowing any homosexuals uh, in this uh, organization. Uh, now, I am a man of solutions. And now this is 2014, and I said it's time for restoration. And now, in order to restore yourself, you have to have knowledge. You have to come equipped on certain things. Now, I've received an email a while ago uh, from a gentleman uh, uh, on my pr uh, responding to my show uh, maybe about almost two years ago or, some, or something like that. And they were telling me to stop worrying about uh, what gays do in the privacy of their bedroom. Uh, they were saying that, uh, you know, because of their sexual orientation. Uh, they basically told me to worry about my own bedroom and uh, stop, you know, going into their bedroom and let them live. Now, at that time, I didn't respond. I just, I just read the, the email and I responded back to him saying thank you for your email that was it but this is 2014 we cannot sit back and allow these liberals to start jumping on us now in response and this is why I'm talking about this story in response to the, that email it's funny how you're saying to stay out, tell me to stay out of their business, when they're imposing their will and their privacy right in our faces. We're seeing them going to schools, to the elementary schools, trying to teach them about the gay lifestyle, the sexual lifestyle, to try to teach them, and also having a homosexual history class, trying to equate this with race. Like African American history class or, or this type of class, they're equating this with race. Now, it's everybody's business when I'm a parent. I have two kids, and if they're gonna do that in schools. It's definitely my business. They're constantly throwing that lifestyle in our faces, the bedroom lifestyle. It's on TV constantly. It's on music videos, it's in movies, all over Hollywood, all over these television, no matter what it is, they are pounding it in our faces and trying to desensitize it, in a sense. It's a plan to desensitize it, but they're trying to pound it constantly in something that's private, something that's done in the bedroom. It's not about history tree, it's not about being born in another country, or nothing like that. It's about what you do in the bedroom, as that person, that email told me. And my response is this. My response is this. If you don't want me to worry about something that goes on in the bedroom, then stop throwing it in my face. Stop throwing your privacy all up in my children's faces. Stop throwing your privacy out in the open. If it's such a private thing, which I believe it is, if it's such a private thing which is in the bedroom, then stop throwing it publicly and forcing people to agree with something that you do in the privacy of your own damn home. 
And if it's for if it's privacy, and if you're born this way, why are you trying to teach kids about it? Isn't it supposed to be already on the inside of them? Anyway, I offer solutions. And this, I believe, will end this gay uh, pushover, this gay bullying. This will end this once and for all. I really believe this. Because a lot of people tell me, all you do is complain. All you do is fuss. All you do is raise your voice. But you offer no solutions. Which is BS. It's BS. Because I do offer solutions. I do tell people what needs to be done. But I'm going to do something really about this. Now look, a lot of people say, well, you, you can't stand gay people. I have, a, I have a strong gay following. And there's a lot of people that are gay that... Then they may not agree with me, but there are some that do. And they do see this as a private thing. Now, uh, this is what I believe can stop all of this madness. Question the equality. They always bring up, no matter what your sexual orientation, no matter who you love. But it does matter. Because liberals only want gays because they got the cha-ching. There's not a lot of gays in America. There's a lot of money in gays with, the, with gays in America. That will give them more stability to push their word out and continue to keep that power. Aren't you for all sex? It's about sexual rights, not civil rights. This is not about race. They weren't born in another country. This is about alternative sex. Why is it alternative sex? Because you can't procreate. No matter what you do, if a man and man get together, they can't procreate. Woman and woman get together, they can't procreate. They have to have in vitro fertilization or some kind of person, third, third wheel, stepping in. But when a man and a woman get together, the chances are much greater that they can bear forth fruit, which is children or a child. That's zero percent for gays and lesbians. Zero. I don't care what that dumb show that they say a pregnant pregnant man. No, that was a woman dressed up like a man. A woman got pregnant, not a pregnant man. And then why do we and then also question why they get upset about bestiality? You can't compare homosexuality to bestiality. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you insulting the bestiality community? Are you insulting the swingers community? Are you insulting the uh, polygamy community? Well, you, how can you say that? How can you compare us to that? You're all, it's alternative sexual lifestyle. It's an alternative sexual life. Of course, you don't do the same thing, you dumbasses. Of course, we're not saying that. We're not saying you do the same things. But we're saying is under the alternative sexual lifestyle. That's what we're saying. But they are doing this purposely because they don't want that Pandora's box to open. Or, uh, orientation means identification. That means anybody can identify themselves whatever they want to identify themselves as. So if they want to impose their will on the Boy Scouts, how about the porn people? impose their will and put their uh, put themselves as leaders of Boy Scouts how about the swingers put them themselves and, and force them to change uh, their ways and change laws how about bestiality people the bestiality kids how can you do that you can't say that they were born that way no they weren't that's not that's a crime they're trying to separate themselves from that because they know if you open up that whole box of alternative sex, because you can't let one in without the other, or not one in without the others, others with an S at the end, you have to include each and every other alternative sexual lifestyle. They know it, and you know, and they know that all of America is not going to go for letting people marry their pets, marry their horses, marry uh, whatever, or, or marry five, six, seventy people uh, all at once. They're not going to go for that. 
that means if they can't go for that, then they can't go for them because they are under the alternative sexual umbrella. And when America is starting to do all this, that Pandora box is opening. Because you know why? If you only work and fight for one branch of the sexual alternative lifestyle and you close the door for the rest, it is unconstitutional. That changes everything. That shuts them up. Take a stand for the others and see what happens. They will get mad at you. And how dare you compare? You can't be mean. You're doing the same thing. Remember when you told us, don't knock something you don't understand? Then you're knocking bestiality. You're knocking swingers. You're knocking polygamists. You throw that right back in their faces. That's the solution. You throw that right back in their faces, not just to these, to Glad and all these other people, but you throw it back at these politicians. Because all they care about with gays are money. They didn't have any money, they wouldn't give a damn. That's factual. They didn't have any money, the Reverend Jesse Jackson wouldn't give a damn. Factual. If they didn't have any money, the Reverend Al Pimpton wouldn't give a damn. Period. They didn't have any money. Rahm Emanuel would, wouldn't give a damn. Even though it's rumored that he is a bisexual. When you bring up that type of, of stuff into that uh, conversation, it's like kryptonite to their discussion. It's like kryptonite to their imposing. It's not about we're fighting for this. No, they're imposing. They're bum rushing. Why didn't they start their own boys club or boy scout no because they want to force it on other people saying you got to let us in so now you have to throw that at them why don't you fight for everybody else then under the alternative sexual lifestyle you're not a race of people you're not a race of people you don't come from another country you are who you are because of what you do. I'm black. I am, I'm black. I am who I am because of who I am. My family tree, my history. Basketball players are who they are because of what they do. Same for gays. What they do in the bedroom. And it's alternative. It's an alternative sexual lifestyle because it is. it goes outside of nature. If it went inside of nature, they could procreate. So, aren't you going to take a stand for the others? And if not, then you're a hypocrite. And if the Supreme Court and all the, these other places want to make judgments on that, tell them that your decisions are unconstitutional. What the president is doing, I know he's gay, but it's still unconstitutional because it falls under one category one category only. Keep it true. That's the argument you make, and I guarantee you that will make changes. They will slow down. You're going to see less of them if you make that argument. Tell them to take a stand for everybody else and see what the rest of America would do. If not, they know they'll be shut out. They can't impose doing all that stuff to the boy. First, at first, I was like, cool. But when they, they start doing all this now and forcing this all down the throats and everybody, cool. It's on. That's the solution. So apply it and let's get to restoration. Like it or not, restoration has come.